Stepney was having a great time on the Isle of Sodor. Stepney helped by pushing trucks and coaches into the yards. And all of the engines were very thankful for him, but his visit was coming to an end and the engines were sad about it. We shall miss you, Stepney. Thank you all so much for a great day. I had a wonderful time. You, Stepney, are the greatest tank engine that I've ever seen. I can say it better myself. Stepney, you did a wonderful job and I am proud of you. Now, engines, I have important news for you. I must tell you all, engines, something important. A new engine will be coming here for a trial run, but there's a catch. The engine that will be coming here is a diesel. So please try to avoid any disturbance. What does that mean? It means this diesel is difficult. The next day, the new diesel came into the yards and surveyed the sheds. Huh, <laughs> not bad. i seen worse. The engines glared at him. It's not your fault, really, but you control your scrap, all of you, and get engines like me. A fill of oil, a touch on the starter, and I'm off. No bar and no waiting. They will have to fuss around you for hours until you're all ready. And without another word, the diesel rolled away. The engines were so pissed, they couldn't believe what they just heard. The next day, the engines were arguing about the new diesel, saying what they think about him. It's disgraceful. Disgusting. And despicable. What does that diesel think he is? He's no right to say such things to us. Insta teach him a lesson, I'll be warning. So do I, but how are they gonna do it? Little did the engines know their chance would come sooner than expected. The next day, the diesel was purring as the inspector was looking all over him. The fitter was making final adjustments to the diesel. The wind tugged at the inspector's head, and without warning, the hat flown away off his head. Soon, the new diesel was ready. Look at me, Duck and Stepney. Now I'll show you something. And with that, he went to collect the coaches. Then there was trouble. Shaking and spluttering, the diesel stopped. Meanwhile, the inspector was still looking for his hat. Duck and Stepney pushed the diesel onto the turntable. My hat, yelled the inspector. You sucked it into your air intake. Bother your hat, the train is due out. You will have to take a duck. Stepney, will you help him? Yes, sir, I will. I will love a good long run on my last day. Soon, Duck and Stepney were coupled to the train. The guard blow his whistle and the two engines set off. Now time for a sprint. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Duck and Cindy charged down the main line with the train. Soon they finally reached the station where Gordon was there waiting for them. Well done, you two. I was told everything. That's one in the headlamps for that old diesel. James says that Bowler is sulking in the shed because of his breakdown. That's what that diesel gets. The next day, all the engines came to see Stepney leave the island of Sodor. 
Goodbye, Stephanie. We will miss you. Thank you all so much for a great day. I'll come back soon, and you guys are all welcome to the Bluebell Railway. With a final blow of his whistle, Stephanie puffed back home. And what about Diesel? Well, he left two things behind. A rare nasty smell, and a bare bowler hat. <laughs>